This is lab 14 on the cat specimen. So again, we're finishing up the thoracic limb, arteries, veins, and nerves. And so you have to remove the skin from the rest of the anabrachium. So just take that off. And on the kitty, unfortunately, this cat does not have a lot of injection for the veins. So it's very difficult to find and follow. And you might have a similar situation. So if you can, try to look for the cephalic at least, which should be on the cranial aspect here. So mine is not injected again, so it's just this right here. So here's cephalic, and cephalic goes down that way, and then you have accessory cephalic. Let's see if I can pull this back out here. Accessory cephalic coming in here, cephalic here, joining and coming up as cephalic. And then you'll have that axillobrachial, which is here. And the cat does not have the omobrachial, so that is not present, and it just is the cephalic joining up with the external jugular. Unfortunately, we can't see a lot of that. All right, the median cubital, however, I think still shows up right here. Right there, so that's um, connecting your brachial vein and your cephalic vein. So median cubital in between those two. Okay, now we'll move on to the arteries and nerves. So again, on the medial side, you've removed the skin, you have to reflect your fascia, and just open it up. Any muscles in the way that you need to cut, you can cut, and just kind of move things out of the way to follow your vessels and nerves. So the brachial artery here was where we ended on the last lab, and that then travels through the supracondylar foramen in the cat, so that's different than the dog, and brachial artery then emerges here. So unfortunately in the cat, again, I don't have injection at this point, and so we don't have a lot of color, but that will be the brachial artery. And then if you follow it down and look for, the cat does not have a common interosseous branch, and so everything comes off separately. So we will try and see an ulnar artery, if I can find one. Okay, so this one looks like ulnar here, and it's going caudally. And again, if you do the trick where you put your forceps around it and then pull the muscles apart, and you can see my forceps right there. So you know that's ulnar going to the caudal aspect, so ulnar artery. And since we don't have a common interosseous, the best way in the cat, especially if you have injection, is to just pull out part of this pronator quadratus muscle and look for that caudal interosseous running down in that groove between the bones. So this is caudal interosseous right there. And then we had ulnar right here. And I think if I move a little bit more proximally, yep, it looks like I have my cranial interosseous. It's right there. And that's the one that just dives down and disappears in, the, in between the bones. So cranial interosseous here. And then my deep antibrachial is actually broken. It was right there, which in the kitty, uh, you can't always count on the branching pattern being correct. They don't always follow the rules. So then at this point, after you have your interosseous come, or caudal interosseous come off, then you will call this median. So this is then median artery traveling down towards the paw. But in the cat, the radial is the larger continuation. So this would be radial going cranially, and I could not find the continuation of median. It apparently got so small that it just kind of disappears. Uh, so if you have one and you can follow it, that would be really nice to see and possibly get some pictures of in the cat. So if you have one, call a professor over and we can look at that. But median wood should travel down and go into the paw just like the dog and give off those branches that we talked about in the dog. But for sure see the radial in the cat. That is important that it is bigger in the cat going cranially. Okay, then we just have a few nerves. So you followed your median nerve here, and the median nerve travels with the brachial artery through that supracondylar foramen, 
coming out and just traveling along that artery here. So median nerve. Then we had ulnar nerve here coming down and again just cut the muscles if you need to that are in the way. Following ulnar down, you can see it on the caudal aspect here coming down and then you break into that palmar branch here which is the bigger and then the dorsal branch here. And then the last piece is that radial nerve that we saw. So you saw the big radial nerve going into the triceps from the medial side here. And then we flip it over and reflected the lateral head of the triceps, reflecting that up to see the continuation of that radial nerve. So the radial nerve will continue and have the superficial branch there and then a deep branch diving into the muscles here. And that should be it on lab 14.